um, the sheriff comes back and he's like, all right, Silas is going to be here in, I don't know, he said about 10 minutes. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of investigating we can do at this time of night. We don't really have the means to do that. Uh, I'll come so back in the morning. Gonna come and take the body. I'll come back in the morning, take a look around, see if there's anything that stands out to me as odd. And uh, Silas is going to do the stuff he does. And um, yeah. Sheriff, can I ask you a couple questions? Sure. Has anything like this happened before? Yeah, like I said, this, it, from no, what no, I can no. see, I know there's no bite marks or anything, but it looks like a sort of shat, uh, uh, animal attack. You're telling me that animals will tear people apart exactly like that? If exactly they get hungry, perfect. If they get hungry enough, that it's not perfect. Um, if they get hungry enough, they'll do whatever. Yeah, but usually they'll drag yeah, it off. they have eaten some of the body if that were his animals? Oh, uh, you shot at them, so they would have run off. Well, the guys that shot at them didn't miss. They wouldn't have been running off. They would have been here. See, that's the thing is, you've been drinking, the other guy's been drinking... How do you know you didn't miss? Like I said, I'll look into it more, but I'll have to see what Silas says and then I'll see if there's any evidence around here that leads to uh, something else being in the works. All right, well, I know you don't owe me anything, Sheriff, but if you wouldn't mind uh, keeping me uh, informed of what Silas finds out, I'd be much, uh, much obliged. Can I be talking to the guys back at the station or no? Yeah, sure. Okay. They're uh, they're kind of the one guy's sitting. Name is Jay. They're kind of sitting on the you know the other guy's name too because it was stated. Um, I don't remember. I Mark. guess not Jay. Oh, there Mark. you go. <laughs> um, the guys are kind of like sitting with their backs against the station, just kind of like sh heads in their hand, like shaking their heads freaking out about what happened. Are, are you guys okay? I wish I had something to drink for you. That was... I... That's... I can't get that image out of my mind. Are you guys okay? It... It just came out of nowhere. I don't... We're... We just came for a hunting trip. What am I going to say to his wife? His name was Tom, right? Yeah. What, did you guys see something when you were out there? Like, No, I said did, it just did, came out of nowhere. Happen? So you weren't doing anything? You were just... Did you shoot at anything? or We were setting up a blind. And that's it? Yeah. And then... Was it near where where his body was, or where was it? Yeah, it was up in the tree. We, and, we were planning on going out and, tomorrow morning and just... We... Jake had set up his earlier today, and then we came a little yeah. bit later in the day and set up ours, and we had just finished, and we were about to leave, and then this thing came and grabbed him. And then these other forms showed up as we got there and just tore him apart no i yeah well i saw the aftermath of that but so yeah you didn't there was no shooting at anything or besides just building a blind that's all you guys did no we were just building the blinds in uh, the tree blinds and then they took something took tom yeah we had gotten down from the tree and yeah. we were like all right let's go join jake at the bar and as we started walking away, Jake, or Tom started screaming, and I was like, I'll, I'll get us help, and I ran away. Maybe if I had stayed, uh, oh. but we shot them. They didn't feel anything. Yeah, I, I don't know if you would have been able to do anything. I'm so sorry, guys. That's, that's just, 
Yeah, I, I don't know what to tell you. That's just horrible, horrible. I know Victor went out with with uh, the sheriff there or the police out there. Well, now we got. I don't. Yeah. We got to tell Gwen what happened. It's she's not going to take it very well. What are we going to tell well, her? Shadow beans tore him apart. Yeah, I don't. That's just. We came here investigating strange things happening, but we hadn't heard of anything like this happening. Well, this is definitely a strange thing happening. Yeah, this is crazy. It has escalated beyond anything that we could have thought of. What what did what did you think about? Well, we've we've only come across the one the one uh one creature with red eyes but i have no idea what you're talking about we didn't see anything like that yours was just shadows right you said something that came out of the shadows it was just the one shadow and then three more showed up okay yeah no we had the the creature that we came across wasn't aggressive at all it was only only if it was uh if anything was aggressive towards it, that was the only, it was kind of like responding to being attacked or, and it's, yeah. But the sounds of it, you guys didn't do anything. No. Unless it's like the lower X and doesn't want us hammering into tree trees. <clears throat> yeah, I don't yeah can i get you guys anything no it's fine it's it's best we say i'm sure the aware of the situation yeah that's true um frankie what are you doing uh recover uh, recovering uh, um after I sat there for a little bit, I was just going to head back to the lodge. Okay. Um, were you doing anything special at the lodge or just it's bedtime? I was going to make a drink there and, like, put some ice in my head. Okay. Because um, right. I'm pretty sure I have a concussion, so I am not going to bed. Probably a good idea. Um... Victor and Wyatt. Are you just heading back so, to the police station or what's the plan? Here's 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 the deal, Victor. Um we need to know what was going on when those shadow people arrived. Because I've well, seen them before. When did you see them? Uh earlier tonight. I thought you were up in the room with uh, Emily. Yeah, we were for a while. And then? And then we went to go into the woods. Did Charlie go with you? Of course. I feel like that's a lie, but anyway, continue. Uh, but anyways, I saw, we saw the ship, we saw Emily. I tried asking her what she wanted. Rachel. Right. You saw Rachel. Emily was the girl Rachel. you were with. Yeah. It's been I saw a rough Rachel. Night. Uh, and for some reason, I ha I got a sneaking suspicion that what she wants is the altar and needs somebody to touch it. And if that happens, maybe it makes her better. I was trying to ask her what she needed to uh, what could make her better? Maybe she needs to touch the altar. Um, but while I was talking to her, the shadow people arrived. And I was still trying to talk to her. One of them put their hand on my shoulder. Uh, and then she kind of looked, tilted her head to the side and looked disappointed. Mad, that's correct. 
She tilted her head to the side, looked disappointed, and then they all vanished. And then shortly thereafter, you're telling me that those men had to run into potentially the same, you described the same people, and he got torn in half. Torn in four. All right, well, hopefully when we get back to the police station, maybe Maxine got some information out of those two guys, <laughs> and then maybe we can put this puzzle together. Because the question is, what was different about my interaction with her and what did they do to get to arouse them to do that to them? Well, you did say one thing. Uh, what? When they were, when the shadow things touched you, what was your reaction? I was too busy paying attention to her. So... I didn't react. You didn't scream? You didn't... No. You didn't yell? You didn't cry? No. Okay, well, Tom was blood-curdling screams. The blood-curdling screams were happening as he was being picked up, but they did yeah, freak that's out. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so the, the difference is you didn't... You said she looked disappointed when you didn't react... And then she took off. Well, yeah. these guys did not disappoint her. And when they were screaming and everything was happening, then she got happy. So something is up with uh, like the fear or the pain or something. And you know, we need to find out from the guys if anything instigated that besides that, because that's my suspicion. So you say that now, one of the first nights that we were here I got an impression that she didn't want to hurt that the monster didn't want to hurt anybody they just wanted to scare somebody yeah and maybe, maybe that's I don't connected know. maybe because you know she could have every time she gets the opportunity if she gets some fear or pain or something uh, she doesn't seem to continue on with that but now it seems to have escalated, so I don't know. But let's wait and find out. Maybe we know no more once we talk to the guys or, or Maxine. One thing is for sure, uh, she needs to be stopped or helped or whatever we gotta do before this gets too far. Well, it's already gone too far. Yeah. Um, so you guys, I assume we're talking and walking and you're yeah. heading, you're back at the police station and Maxine is basically finished talking to the guys. Yeah. Uh, so you see Victor and Wyatt walk up. How'd it go? Good. No. I don't really want to talk about it in front of these guys, but... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we should go back. We'll... Frankie's back at the lodge, too? Well, you don't know that, but... Yes. I, I, don't I don't know, know but I'm just... I'm I'm assuming I that's know. why I'm saying that. No, no but I am. Yeah. I, I hope so, because I don't want to see what happened to that guy, happened to Frankie. All right, well, let's head back, then, and we can talk there. All right. I assume the sheriff's taking care of these two guys, then? Yeah. The sheriff would have, right. yeah, drove back. You guys had to walk. Yeah. All right. Okay, so... Back at the lodge. Doop to do Yeah, so you guys go back. Frankie is holding a uh, ice, ice pack, pack to the back of their head. Um, and drinking a alcoholic beverage or just a drink? I think yeah. it's whiskey. It's just straight whiskey? Okay. What happened to you? It was like we just... How, we just saw you. Um, you... So, on the ice pack, I will say, you also do see, like, 
You know how you get like a little bit of blood on plastic? You just see like sprinkles of red in the plastic where the lines are. That's what you see on her ice, uh, their ice pack. Did you fall on the way back? I. Where? I went to try and talk to Rachel. What? What? We just. We just saw what happened. Was yeah, Rachel and not I wanted there? To figure out why, or what the hell is going on with her. Okay, well, you've been hurt. Do you need some? What do you need something for the your head besides ice? What? I had a concussion. I, I, I think I've got what I need right here. Let me have um, a look at that. So I've got a, I've got an ability. What do you got? I got. You can heal people. Yeah. That's one second. Where is it? I'll hey. hold my... Oh, safety first. No, no. You, you have, you have nothing. Yes. You can get it. Oh, that's right. I didn't take it. It was an Never mind. Never mind. DIY Never surgery. Mind. Yeah, you did not have yeah. that. He still wants to take a look at it. I'll move that. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. No, I would, I would still take a look to see if I got a sender anyway. Okay. Okay. So, oh. what did you find out from the police? Anything? like? Well, you don't need stitches, but uh, you can have a nasty goose egg there. Nice. Uh, two of her shadow peeps kind of slammed me into the ice wall. What did you do? I was asking questions. I was asking her if they did anything to her or why she needed to kill people. I apologized for smacking her with an axe. I. Well, I talked to those two guys and according to them, they weren't doing anything. They were building a blind in the woods. There was uh, nothing aggressive, nothing, nothing that would cause anyone to be angry. Like unless it was some sacred tree or something, but no, there was, they weren't shooting. They weren't, you know, accidentally shooting at them or whatever. It's like all of a sudden Tom disappeared and, and Mark ran off to get help. That was it. So it's like, I don't know what he did while they had him captive, but it's like, because we can't ask him because he's dead. But yeah, according to them, they didn't do anything. So I, our theory, I don't know, maybe he's out the window here. Oh. And then Frankie was just asking questions. Yeah, well, Wyatt's got a little story for you too. What and was then hopefully we can piece this all together. What was Wyatt so, doing? Hold on, Frankie, did you see uh, Rachel? when yeah. the shadow people came up yeah what was rachel's response when they when they touched you um uh, well she didn't show up until after i was slammed into the wall uh she was right in front of me bent down so i could feel her breath on my face very cold by the way uh and just kind of stared at me and i mean it hit my head so hard i was a little dazed so i just repeated the question and he looked I don't know annoyed and then just gone so I said good what talk to shadow people after she looked annoyed they all just poofed all of them all maybe at once. you're on to something Victor so when I saw the shadow people and they touched me I repeated my question to her and she looked disappointed and left. The shadow people just tore somebody in half. So, so from you and screaming? I no, see, my theory is that uh, she was trying to scare Wyatt and Wyatt didn't respond the way she wanted. So then she went out looking for somebody that would respond. So Tom was scared, obviously. Well, they were screaming. And so, but she must need more than just the screams because they, you know, all the other things that we've heard, you know, she's 
scaring people around town and looking in mirrors and doing all these things that we've seen. But this is, a, but it's not her doing it. It's like it's these she controls I don't know, them. minions. So anyway, but when that when Tom was torn asunder, uh, uh, Rachel was behind the tree, watching, and when it was done, the shadow creatures after they shot, they disappeared, and she got a big smile on her well, face. Did, did you see Rachel before? Yeah, the thing those guys, the those things. What was that, Frankie? What? After the whole thing with Elias in the jail cell, I saw her face on the outside of the window after she vanished, and she had this big, sick smile on her face. Okay, so I just think things are escalating. She needs more to maybe, I don't know, sustain herself. Was, or Elias, like scream was Elias screaming when you guys sh I mean, yes, showed up? That's how we heard, well, remember? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. I kind of provoked him and or I provoked her in the jail cell and started reading from her journal. Oh, so right, yeah. Me instead of Elias. And, I mean, I had ice climbing up my body, so needless to say, I was a little scared out of my mind. Um, I thought I was going to turn into a popsicle like Charlie almost was. So, mm -hmm. apparently that did the job. I was wondering what that noise was, and then I'm like, oh, dog. Mine's the one whining. But other squeaking is the leather on leather. The chairs. Yeah. Big. Not just baby. Yeah. Well. You just see. You just see her hand up and and then a tongue <laughs> it won't pick Some, her up oh there, send, there somebody is. needs to stay up with frankie i can do that frankie can rest and i can wake her wake them up every hour uh -huh. or two well because i gotta meet with hazel in the morning yeah so you're gonna have to do that with charlie yeah and then once uh frankie's done uh concussion protocol i'll get some rest after that do you want to stay with her or stay with them as well, Wyatt, tomorrow? Or do you want to come with us in the morning? Uh, I need to go talk to Finn. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea, too. Why? What if, have you heard more? No, Emily and I were talking about some other things, and Finn seems to know a lot about a lot of things. Okay. All right, well... And we've got some stuff to do tomorrow. Frankie could have a bit of a lie down in the morning. Because it sounds like they're going to be up all night. Yeah. They'll get a bit of rest, but not as all much right. as they would have. I've got two of my best friends with me to help keep me awake. Jack and Daniels. I was going to say Jim and Beam. <laughs> Jim Beam, Jack Daniels. Jim and Jack. Yeah. There you go. Nice combo. Combo. All right. So you guys uh, head to rest, kind of. Mm -hmm. Um. And then. Oh, you... I didn't tell them about the tally mark. No, you didn't. You hit your head. You I can tell us they'll, when they're... they'll tell us tomorrow. Yeah. When their when their brain isn't rattled. I'm not concussed. Yeah. Um so yeah. You uh I'm not gonna give you your harm point back because it's not an actual rest. Because it's kind of like yeah. in and out. Um So I'll go into the next day with one harm? Yeah. Uh, all right. So, um, I'm willing to go on into the next day a little bit if you guys want. That's up to you. Yeah. I got a yes. Yep. Cool. Okay. Well, then I need a snack break. Uh, okay. Well, you're going to be resting anyway, so that's fine. Okay. And I'm going to make popcorn. 
Okay. Um. You don't like popcorn? No, that sounds really good. <laughs> I have a. I have, honey bun. I have a party stack of Pringles. I have um, s'mores uh, chocolates. Oh, they are delicious. Um, I have extra flavor sour cream and onion chip. Why are they downstairs? Um, because you don't need them. You're so rude. No, I'm not. You eat and any chip you can see, you will eat. <laughs> I ate a honey bun, so I'm good. Perfect. Okay, so first thing in the morning, Frankie, you wake up. You don't feel the greatest, but you're feeling slightly better. You're still. Uh, that's probably the hangover too. Yeah, and you still have uh, a major lump on the back of your head. Fantastic. Uh, Wyatt, what is your plan as well? Oh, you're gonna go talk to Finn. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so who wants to go first? That. Um, <laughs> what is your plan for I guess this morning? I'll mention the. I'll try and grab everyone in the morning and mention the other thing. All right. Before I'll leave. So before, um, Victor falls asleep. Before Maxine heads out, you go ahead. Um, I kind of forgot to mention one thing from last night. Okay. Um, when I got into her, I'm going to call it her living room because I don't know what else to call it. That big room where we found Charlie getting covered in ice. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's a bloody tally mark looking thing on the wall it wasn't there how many or just one just one it's definitely from yesterday because it wasn't there and definitely before. blood so it looks like i mean it's on ice so it's kind of but yeah looked as much like blood as it could that is so Unless she's weird. out there crushing up berries and painting pictures on the wall. Yeah, I'm gonna say no. That's... Uh, hung banana, squash banana. She wasn't answering any of my questions, so I was kind of... And I, I think the talking is what kind of pissed them off and made Rachel try to scare me off, but... I started just talking out loud, just trying to figure out why. I made a couple of snarky comments, per use. And so far, the only theory that I could come up with is that, like, some sort of ritual or something. Like, if you're gonna kill somebody for just for scaring them, like, why make a tally mark with their blood? Assuming it's his blood. Right. So, by you going back to... Well, like, it's like her home base or something, but it's like, is it it's her hideout or her, like, because obviously she'd already been there if she had already made a tally mark and then left, but it's like, but is... because I was there snooping around and like talking, yeah, I think she knows it's like, yeah, she's somehow she it. senses it, yeah, maybe she's in touch with all of the ice, maybe it's like a security system sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, some kind of alarm system. Yeah. Um, that is so odd. The only two theories I could think of were cutting down the people that avenged her, which didn't seem likely considering these people weren't from around here. Uh -huh. Like the one dude threw US dollars at the bartender. So. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. And yeah, like I said, when I talked to them, they were just, they, well, what yeah, they did, they did not seem, yeah, they just were up hunting and it's like they were just getting ready to go, 
yeah, they weren't even hunting that day. They were just getting their blind ready to go. And Jake, the one that we saw at the bar, he, uh, he'd already finished where he was working and the other two were kind of lagging behind. So Jake went to the bar, they were going to meet up. The only thing I can think of that, that could have triggered it going after them was being in the woods after dark. That's the only thing the three instances have. Yeah, well, and Jake, yeah, and Jake was already gone, so it was just Tom and Mark left. But yeah, that's just hunters were in there after dark. I was in there after dark, and we found out why it was there after dark. After dark. Okay. So yeah, because the shadow, you need darkness for the shadow so that makes that's sense the only thing i can think of that's in common yeah. i asked questions why i asked questions he got yanked okay so the only yeah those guys were not asking questions but they were around there but like, like victor said is it that close it was it that close to the cave or no how close was it no this is on the opposite side on just in on the woods in general this okay is, this is on the opposite side of the map so the cave is behind um like the glacier wellness center these woods yeah. are behind wilderness outfitters like it's east it's west jaunt. difference okay so if this dr helene comes helena helene what was helena it helena sinclair helena yeah uh are we wanting to well i guess we're wanting to tell her as much as possible but it's like yeah these are all different things that we can talk to her about okay so i'm gonna go with charlie i guess to uh see this hazel because she was one of the ones at the mill there do you want me to ask her anything or um... it's like it's like I just want to see the doctor or ask the doctor or who? No, no, no. Well, I'm going to see Hazel, but yeah, I'm just wondering whether do you want me to ask her anything like off the top of your head? Uh, who's Hazel again? Hazel was one of the ones he was with Ed, or she was with Edward and Olivia. Uh, they were at the mill. They were one of the ones the teams uh, that went into the mill. Fog started rolling in while I was in the cave. Okay. See if they saw any of that. Like, um, see if she knows anything about any, like, maybe rumors or something about, like, unexplained injuries when people are out in the woods at night recently yeah because the police when victor was talking to him it's like he just kept going on about animal attacks but there was no animals the woods, you know. like there was no bites so yeah they're just where, trying to i get where sheriff is coming from but mm -hmm. even if it's like someone has to get stitches on their head um yeah they didn't fall. They didn't trip. They didn't... You know, any, like, weird stuff like that of... And people not being like, yeah, okay, sure, you didn't fall. So besides the fog, do you hear anything, like, whispering or laughing or anything like that? No, it was way too quiet. Because, yeah, it's like... The only reason I, I know that that's some of them. The only reason I even noticed him and turned around is because I saw fog rolling in and was like, what the heck is that? And then two they of them grabbed my arms and slammed my head into a wall of ice. Hard. Like, they dazed me. Yeah. And, well, I was bleeding, so clearly hard enough to do some damage. Yeah. Okay. Well. I did... Granted, they didn't answer me, but I did tell them, like, I know you can hold things, like, you've ripped a book out of my hand, like, 
you can hear what I'm saying, so maybe write a response, but they didn't react to that. They didn't that. take up on that. Yeah. Okay. No, they just slammed me into the... So I'm guessing that's a no on writing a response. Well, we're definitely getting more reactions from them. Not good, by any means. But, uh, yeah. You gotta be careful, Frankie. This is, this is, uh... You have an impulsive yeah. thing, okay? I didn't think it through until I was there. Well, even Not Wyatt, true. too. We gotta watch Wyatt, because it's like, he's gonna get himself hurt or killed. And it's like... Yeah, hit. Yeah. Well, you know, you're strong, independent, whatever. Don't do stupid shit. Yeah. I mean, that goes for me, too, but jeez, come on. I was going to say, like, preaching to the choir. Yeah. yeah. And then bringing Emily along, too. It's like, that would, yeah. What if something happened to her? It's like, yeah, that's not too smart. Okay, well, I'm going to take off. Try and get some rest. You've had a long night. I'm gonna go with Charlie, I guess, and go see Hazel and see if I can find anything else out. All right. From her, at least. And okay. see if like anything happened to them, because Eddie said that, and Vicky said everyone was fine, but that could just be like the story. All right. Yeah. True. True. Okay. Well, I'm sure that everybody will have heard of what happened last night, so yeah, maybe we can get people to be a little more honest, a little more open. Hey, maybe we it'll gotta... take some of the uh Oh, never mind. That's a really sick way of talking about someone who just died. Yeah. I'd, I'd like to know what the thought was there. I was going to say, maybe it'll take some of the attention off the Albatross family and they'll come out of their hidey hole. Oh, there you yeah. go. Um, well, you never know. Are you, are you guys downstairs? I figured we were in our little, your, like... Your briefing room? Conference room. Conference room yeah. is the better term. Um, yes. Evelyn kind of knocks on the door for a second. She's like, um, says, I don't want Emily to ever go with you guys. Again. No, Emily would not have said anything. <laughs> okay. Uh, hey, hi. Um, I have a message for you guys. Um, I just was listening to the answering machine. Um, uh, Sheriff Bennett wants you to go to the police station. Apparently, all of us a... are. I don't know. He just said if they want to come to the police station, there's a report for you guys. Oh. Victor Taggart. Oh, Victor. Yeah. Victor. He was the one. He, oh, I, mean, I think he I asked can... for info. I mean, I'm still awake, so I can go down there. Well, uh, Victor will go with you. He's here. Okay. Get, get on that. The sheriff wants... The sheriff wants uh, someone to come down. He's got a report. I'm going right. with Charlie to uh, go see Hazel. All right. I think Frankie wants to go with you. Um, I was going to say something and totally forgot. Oh, if anybody asked, I fell. That's what happened to their head. Okay. Yeah. I tripped in the woods and fell backwards and hit my head hard. Granted, because no one's going to believe the other thing. But that's what we're running with. Oh, I wonder if I... Oh, I don't even know. If, no, I didn't even. I don't. Wouldn't have had my go, my go bag with. I don't think. Um. Okay. So what? Who? It's Frankie and Victor are going to the police station. Yeah. Yeah. I'm 
may look like shit, but I'm willing to be helpful. Okay. Uh, we're going to go to Wyatt quickly, and we're going to do the Finn encounter. Um, I find him out. You're doing the Finn counter? Yeah. Uh, whatever. Uh, so, where are you going uh, to try and meet playground. Finn? Playground. You're going to the with. playground? Okay. Um, it's Friday. Yeah, sure. Uh, so you head over uh, to, you leave the lodge in the morning, head over to the playground area, and uh, Finn is there along with three other children. Three? I'm going to run up. Three. Oh, uh, Wyatt, um, how are you? I'm okay. How are y'all? Um, I'm good. Um, I'm probably gonna sneak off soon. Um, but we're playing right now. Uh, it's the boy, the sister, and the, the brother, right? No. Well, okay. Somebody's stomping no, around upstairs. No. Oh. Um, you are seeing... Here's the one I'm looking for. Um, do, do. Where? Him. Him. There you go. There you go. Those are the four kids you see. Oh, there they go. Give it a second to load. Um, hey Finn, can can we talk for just a minute? I got a quick question for you. Oh, um, yeah. What do you need? I pull him to the side. So I followed your advice. I saw the monster. You did? The one with the red eyes? You did? I did. No mm -hmm. way. Do you know about its shadow friends? Um. No. I've seen shadows. I didn't know it, people it coming had out of the friends. shadows. Um. Four of them? Not four of them. I've, I've seen one or two. I've seen like shadows move a little bit, but not necessarily friendly with the monster. Hey, you gotta promise me something, okay? It's gonna be difficult. If you see the monster with red eyes, you can't react with fear. Why? It's scary. That seems, it seems to be what it wants. Pretend like it's wearing a funny like hat and that its eyes are like spinning in circles going different directions. And maybe that'll make you laugh. So I have See, to laugh at with, the monster? If you laugh at the monster, it might work. Okay. Sure. Keep in mind. You haven't heard anything more about you haven't seen or heard anything more about the red eyed monster, have you? Um no. Okay. Have you? I mean I saw it last night. Really? And the shadow people. That's awesome. One of them touched me. You got touched by a shadow person? I'm a shoulder. Okay, I was going to say you might have to tell an adult because I got told I got to tell adults if they, people touch me. I'm actually going to pull my shoulder shirt to the side. There's nothing there. Okay. Um, yeah, just be careful. Okay, I will. 
If you hear anything else, let me know. You know how to find me. Yes. All right, I gotta go. I gotta figure more out. I gotta figure out some more stuff about it. <laughs>